each and every one out there in Facebook land. We pray that all is well with you and yours. Amen. I, I come tonight want to share us another powerful lesson for you tonight. I pray that you have your Bibles and come along with us as we share God's word. God's word is there for us to grow, that we might be able to be aware of the God's will for our life. Amen. We ask that you would pray for those that are in the hospital, to pray for the children as they return back to school if within uh, maybe the third or fourth week in school. And we pray for the parents that are home with their children, amen, and seeing to them that as they do their lesson, amen. Amen. The Spirit of God has, uh, we want to see, we want to see what the Spirit of God has to say to the church tonight. Amen. Remember, amen. Remember, it's so important that you stay safe. Amen. And do everything that you know to keep yourself safe. Amen. I pray that you will. Amen. Now, if you was with us on last Wednesday, amen, Wednesday night, we engaged in a lesson, amen, that warns us of staying sober and vigilant, especially in these last days that we that we are experiencing, amen. And we share from the book of First Peter, amen, chapter five, verses eight and nine, where we talk on the subject of staying sober and vigilant. Because our adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, he's walking about, amen, seeking whom he may devour. I pray that you Amen. Was encouraged by that message. Amen. We know uh, that I felt real comfortable after uh, I uh, ended that lesson on last Sunday because it is very important. Amen. In these last days that we maintain our vision, we maintain our awareness and we be alert of the things that are happening. I pray that you also, my brothers and sisters, uh, uh, listen to the news and see how things are going, amen. Just don't take for granted that the curve, amen, is going to drop off. I pray that you just be mindful of the things that are going on around us, amen. But the question uh, that is asked, how do we maintain spiritual, our spiritual position while maintaining uh, being sober and vigilant, amen? I, I, I believe the answer to that question is that we must uh, stay steadfast and we must be unmovable. And, amen. And, and, and not only that, amen, we've got to continue to worship God and amen and pray and, 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 and do the necessary things, amen, to, to build ourselves up, that we, we stay on track with God would have for us to do in our lives. Amen. amen, amen. And so tonight, my brothers and sisters, we're going to take a look in the book of Colossians chapter 3. Amen. And our subject tonight will be the power of revelation knowledge. The power of revelation knowledge. If you have your Bibles, turn to Colossians chapter 3. And just one verse that we're going to look at in, in, in the Colossians. We're going to re reference to a couple of more verses out of the book of Colossians. But right now, now our foundation of scripture tonight, our keynote scripture tonight, will be verse 10 of chapter 3. Amen. Amen. If you're there, you'll find these words. And have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Uh -huh. We're talking about, amen, the power of revelation knowledge. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, as we come again to another Wednesday night, encourage meeting. We pray, O oh God, that you will use your servant again tonight yes, to share the good news of Jesus Christ. Yes. We're talking about, Lord God, tonight, the power of your revealed word tonight and the knowledge that we gain from you tonight. We pray that hearts are open and minds and will be receptive to your word tonight. We pray for those that are in the hospital. We pray for the, those who are caring for those that are in a nursing home. We pray, Master God, for, for everyone under the sound of my weak voice, Lord. We just thank you for your covering of us, Lord God, as we go to and fro, Lord God, around the city. Lord God, we thank you for keeping our families safe. Thank, thank you, you for Brother Maurice and the powerful word that he shared with us on trust 
this past Sunday. We pray for Brother we pray for Brother James and his wife. We pray for Brother Kevin as he studied God's word to prepare for a Sunday school lesson come Sunday. Lord, we just thank you that you're making a way out of no way. We love you and we thank you for us. In Jesus' name tonight, we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, tonight we're talking about the power of revelation knowledge. Amen. Revelation knowledge is when God speaks directly to your spirit All right. concerning his revealed word that no one else can hear unless you reveal what God has said to him. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. God, you know God not only talks to me, but God also talks to you. Yes. Amen. You seek him in his word and God will give you an answer. Uh -huh. Sometimes God is silent, amen, to the prayers that we have prayed to him. It doesn't mean that he will, have, he will not bless you. Amen. It probably means that it's not time for the blessing that you want God amen. to bless you with. Amen. Yes, sir. The power of revelation knowledge. Amen. God wants to reveal his will to you. Amen. 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 Brother Stuart come in the house tonight. Amen. amen. We amen. bless the name. Amen. The powerful amen. man of God. Amen. amen. Yes. We thank him tonight. Amen. In Proverbs 29 uh -huh. and verse 18, it tells us where there is no vision, yes, amen. amen, the people perish, yeah. but he that keeps the law is happy is he. Uh -huh. In other words, when we as believers do not walk in supernatural revelation and knowledge, we perish. Mm. We get restless and we walk as blind people bumping into things in the dark. Yes, sir. Amen. Sometimes you got to be careful. Amen. If you're not being led by the Spirit, amen, the flesh will lead you. Amen. Yes, yes. So we want revelation knowledge always to, to be absorbed in our minds and our hearts. Amen. So that we can continue to be led by God. Uh -huh. Amen. You see, my assignment is to share with you that the Lord wants us to stay in fellowship with him. Uh -huh. yeah. He wants us to stay in fellowship out of revelation, not out of obligation. Amen. Moreover, I am also committed to encourage you to keep giving, not out of obligation, but out of revelation knowledge. Yes. Amen. Yes. Knowing that when you give, God is going to give it back to you. Uh -huh. Not yes. only would he give it back to you, but he's going to press it down. Amen. Shake it together so that it'll run over. And not only would he do that, amen, he'll cause men to give from their bosom. Uh -huh. The same measure you meet, the same measure will be met back to you. Yes. That's revelation knowledge, amen. Yes. Yes. We give not our obligation, we give because of revelation. Uh -huh. Amen, amen, amen. And also we know that revelation knowledge helps us to live by faith, uh -huh. amen. Because we, we walk by faith and not by sight, not yes. blind faith, because we're trusting God every step of the way. Amen. Amen. Listen, God wants to reveal his word to you. God wants to communicate with you. God wants to have a relationship with you. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Look at our text. Let's go to our text. In Colossians 3 and 10, Paul explained that you have to put on the new man which renew in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Yeah, uh -huh. The putting on is a conscious and spiritual desire that we must have as believers. You see, we must renounce our old ways of living yeah. and desire the new gift of life in Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. When this desire, this determinant is fulfilled, the new birth experience will be true, will be felt truthfully in your spirit. In other words, when the new birth experience begins to take hold in your life, it's not a matter that you know that you say, amen, that you feel it down in your spirit that God got you in the palm of his hand. Yes. Amen. And when sickness hits your body, you know that you are a child of God. Amen. You can cry, Abba, Father. Yes. Amen. You don't have to do a long 
crying out prayer, amen, because you know without a shadow of a doubt that God is with you because he promised never to leave you now. Right. And he promised never to forsake you. When the new birth experience mm -hmm. has been felt down in your heart's mind, amen, you know without a, 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 a shadow of a doubt you are a child of God. Amen. Now here's another thing I want you to understand. The new birth that every man, uh, every believer, a received, he received a created new spirit. Uh -huh. It's called the inner man. Yeah, yeah. Amen, somebody. Say it, say it. In Ephesians chapter 3, verse 16, Paul's prayer is that the inner man be strengthened. Amen. And that strength come, that strength comes from knowledge. Uh -huh. Look what he said. And have put on the new man, which is renewed and knowledge after the image of him that created him. In Ephesians 3, chapter 16, he prays, amen, that the inner man, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. That's it. Amen. That's it. Amen. So, so the inner man is strengthened every day. Mm. Every day, your flesh and your spirit is under attack of the enemy. Right, right. Our body, amen, is under attack of sickness, under attack of affliction, is under attack of various things in this world. Uh -huh. Our spirit goes through it as well, amen, because our spirit strengthens us, amen, try, and holds us up so that we won't be doubtful, we won't become weary, we won't become depressed, or stress right, right. because of the, the things that are attacking our body. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. So the inner man strengthens us when we go into afflictions. Amen. When we go into stressful things in our life, sometimes marriage calls us to be stressful, but the inner man strengthens us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So that we can endure the things that are attacking our body. Mm -hmm. You see, the soul represents the center of our being, yes, uh, yes. which our mind, will, and emotions operates from. Mm -hmm. Amen. Moreover, with our soul, we choose either to listen to God or we choose not to obey God. Oh, Amen. Or we choose to follow after the lust of the Spirit. Amen. 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 So we make this choice. Amen. And it is and it is where our soul, the inner man, that helps us make the right decision because inside of us dwells the Holy Spirit uh -huh. that helps direct us, help us to make the right decision, help us to listen to God when God is sharing with us what we need to do. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Amen. The image that he's referring to is this. When we were shaping in iniquity, amen, and our mother did conceive us, amen, we took on the sinful nature of Adam. Uh -huh. Amen, somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that we are born again, amen, believers of Jesus Christ, we take on the DNA of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we are made in the image of Jesus Christ. Amen. Paul says this in Galatians chapter 2. Verse 20, and you have to grab hold to what Paul is saying. Paul said, I am crucified Go ahead, so with Christ. Uh -huh. Then he has this stalemate. Amen. Sometimes you have a stalemate with the flesh and the spirit. Uh -huh. He says, nevertheless. In other words, he come to his senses and said, I leave. <laughs> Amen. Under crucifixion, I could have died. He said, but nevertheless, I live. Uh -huh. He said, yet not I but Christ lives in me. The old man is dead. Right. Amen. Right. But Christ lives in me. And he said, now that I'm living, he said, the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by, by faith uh -huh. of, the, of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for, for me. Yes. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Our spirit is renewed daily. Amen, somebody. Amen. As you grow in the Lord. So it is a continual process yes. with you and I. And what many Christians fail to understand is that revelation knowledge is how we complete revelation knowledge is how we complete the process of growing in the Lord. Uh -huh. Amen. 
the, and, 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 and if we're not growing in the Lord, then we fail, amen, to grow, amen. And if we fail failing to grow, then we will always have this carnal mindset, uh -huh. amen. The carnal mindset is a person always thinking worldly, yeah. wow. amen. Yeah. Never talking about the Spirit of God, amen. Always talking worldly stuff, amen. That's a proof or evidence that a person is not growing spiritually, but they're growing more worldly. Uh -huh. If you're taking on more worldly things in your life, then you're more worldly than you are spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying you're not saved. I'm just saying that you, 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 you're more worldly than you are spiritual. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. And when the, when the, and the spirit is crying out to feed me so that I can take on, amen, another spiritual concept in your life, but yet the world have more hope on you than the spirit. Uh -huh. And that, that is because you're not feeding on God's word. Wow. Amen? God's revelation knowledge. In order for God's revelation knowledge to be effective in the believers, he has to put to death, mm. amen, certain aspects mm. of their sinful nature. Yeah. Amen. amen? And this is according, according to uh, 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 Galatians chapter 3, verse 5. He says, mortify. Mortify means to put to death. That's it. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. said, therefore, the members which are upon the earth, he's talking about your flesh. Yes, yes. Amen. He talks about fornication, uh -huh. which is sexual immorality. Uh -huh. Uncleanliness is impurity. Uh -huh. yeah, Incarnate yeah. is unrestrained desires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Affection, a lust, uh -huh. amen. Evil, consciousness, uh -huh. amen. Is unusual, sensual desires. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. Covenant is wanting something that don't belong to you. Ooh. Somebody else has something. Amen. And you want it. Amen. Yeah. And you do whatever you can do to have it. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, he said, which is idolatry. Uh -huh. That's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Those things, if you notice the next verse, the next verse in verse 6 mm -hmm. says that these things that we do, he's like, well, which things say the wrath of God come on the children yes. of disobedience. Amen. Those who fail to accept Christ Jesus as their Savior. Amen. Desire to live in the world. Amen. Desire to live in this world where they, they sexual immorality, they indulge in uncleanliness and purities. Their desires and incarcerated unusual sensual desires. He said the wrath of God come upon the children of disobedience. And then he and then he closed it out in verse 17. I mean verse 7. Notice what he said in verse in the witch. Mm -hmm. And see, he's not letting them off the hook. Amen. Because oftentimes when, 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 when believers are gathered in the sanctuary and the preachers are preaching, amen, he's talking about sin and, and talking about doing this. They try to deflect the things that are happening. Mm -hmm. Amen. But he's talking directly to them. He yeah, said, yeah, yeah. in the which you also walked. Yeah, yeah, he said, yeah. you, you walked in adultery. Amen. You you do done fornication. Uh -huh. Amen. You have those types of desires, sensual desires that you was doing. He said, but now that you're in Christ, those type of thoughts should not enter into your mind anymore. Uh -huh. And when when Satan puts those things in your mind, you flush those things out by the Spirit of God. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Amen. Yeah, he said, yeah. in the which you also walk sometime yes. when you live. In them, so he doesn't let them off the hook, amen. It, because all of us uh -huh. were shaped in, in, in iniquity, yeah, yeah. amen. But now we are born again believers, amen. We, we should be shaping in the image and the likeness of Jesus Christ, yeah, yeah, amen. Yeah. When a believer has not experienced a spiritual change, and which is the most important thing about our walk with Christ. The believer broke, then he continued to be governed by the flesh. And the reason that may be because the believer's mind has not been transformed from worldly conformity. Mm -hmm. And this is according to Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Romans chapter 12, verse 2, he, he tells them, he tells them that, that, that you should not be conformed to this world, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And so if they're not being, their mind is not being renewed, then they're still being conformed to the world. Uh -huh. And your mind has to be transformed from the things of the world. Yeah, 
Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. And so if this not happening, then that's why you see most believers, amen, who claim to be Christian, still live in worldly. Right, amen? Right. Yeah, and because yeah. they live in worldly, their mind have not been transformed, and they're still being pressed or formed into the world system of the worldly things that happen in this world. Amen? Yes, amen. So look what he said. Again, he said, be not conformed to this world. He said, be not conformed to this world. Don't let the world shape your thinking. There you go. There you go. Amen. Yes, he sir. said, but ye be transformed by renewing of your mind, that you may prove if your mind have not been transformed, you can't prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Right. Amen. You don't know what's good for your life. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you're not allowing the word of God to shape your thinking. Yeah, yeah. Worldly thinking is thinking, thinking. Yeah. Amen. So you have to allow God's word to shape how you think. Uh -huh. Amen, somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might see someone doing some things, but if you automatically start judging that person yeah, without yeah. investigating yeah. what's going on, your mind has already been shaped or, co or condemned that person for the actions that that person has done. Amen, somebody. So you have to allow yourself, amen, the opportunity to allow the word of God to shape how you think. That's why it's so important for you to continue to have devotional time so that you can read your word. Amen. And your word will shape how you think. I mean, when you meditate on God's word, you saturate yourself with his word. Amen. And when that word begins to saturate your heart and the way you think, amen, you look at things a little bit differently. Amen. Than you did before. Yes, sir. Yep, yep. I pray that I'm making some sense to you, amen. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Because when knowledge, when, when revelation knowledge break through, it's like a light going on. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Amen. You look at things differently. And when you spend enough time yep. Yep. in God's word, yep. seem like the seem like the the, the scriptures just open up to you. Yes, yep. Amen. He began to yep. talk to you, amen. You see, yep. our mind is the battleground where the enemy launches his attack. Mm -hmm. Amen. He launches his attack against our mind. He knows he cannot master over the spirit. So the enemy influences, targets our mind uh -huh. to accept information instead of revelation. Yeah, come on. Amen, amen. We run with information more than we run with revelation. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. I, give me some information about so and so, but no, give me the revelation of God and what God has to say about it. Amen. Uh -huh. Notice what he says again in verse 10. Go back to verse 10. Right. Amen. We didn't go that far. Amen. He says, Have put on the new man which renewed in knowledge after the image of of him that created him. So here's what here it is. We understand that the power of God's revelation on it can renew us by conforming us to the image of Christ. Yes. His knowledge, revelation knowledge, is shaping our mind to be more like Christ. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Amen. We love more. We care more. Amen. It's, instead of putting people down, we start picking people up. Yes, sir. Amen, somebody. Amen. We treat our neighbors, amen, fairly as we want them to treat us. Yeah, amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand that even in marriage and relationship, and you have a mind of Christ, you treat her like a queen? Go ahead, son. Amen. Your conversation won't be negative. Uh -huh. Amen. Your Amen. conversation will always be positive, even though you yes. might not win the argument, but you have the mind of Christ. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. Amen, yes. somebody. Amen. I pray that I'm helping somebody yes, today. Amen. So we understand, again, that the power of God revelation on can renew us uh -huh. by conforming us to the image of Christ. And here's how that works. Here's how that works. The Holy Spirit works in the believer's heart to conform him to the image and likeness of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. So the process of transformation requires time. Yeah. It won't happen overnight. Amen. It, that is the beginning of your spiritual transformation. Yeah. 
Yeah. Amen. Once you confess hope in Jesus Christ, He comes into your heart and the person of G and the person of the Holy Spirit. He's in there. He's rearranging furniture in your. He's throwing all kind of stuff out of your heart. Amen. All kind of crazy nonsense in your heart. He's just throwing that stuff yes, out of your heart. Amen. Because He's transforming. Amen. How you used to think into how you should think and have the mind of Christ. Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes. I'm glad he came uh -huh. in because I know I had some junk yes. Amen. in my trunk. Amen. Yes. And he began to move that stuff out of my heart. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. So he comes in our heart. In other words, the Holy Spirit gives the believers the life of God and the reality of eternal life. By confir confirming to the believer in his heart that he belongs to the Lord, amen, somebody, yeah, and that he's an heir of God's kingdom, amen. And I'm not saying that just out of out of out of my head, amen. I'm saying that out of God's word, according to Romans chapter eight, uh -huh. amen, verse fifteen, amen, through seventeen, he confirms that, amen. He say, "For you have not received the spirit of." Bondage again yeah, to fear. Yeah, yeah. God doesn't make us fear Him, which we should fear Him, because He's all knowing. Yes. Amen. He knows even what your thoughts are. Mm -hmm. Even now, He knows your thoughts. Amen. Your thoughts, your, your thoughts are like words to Him. Uh -huh. He say, but you have received. Look what it said. You have received, my brother and sister, the spirit of adoption. Amen. When a person is adopted into a family, they have just as much right as the yes. person who was birthed oh, a yes. born. That's right. That's right. He said, he said, this is what we can do now. This is what you can do now. You listen to me? He said, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. I look at this. It, this. Instead of saying, in the name of Adam, I come to you, Lord God, and the God of Abraham, and the, the God of Jacob. I'm coming to you, Lord God, and the God of Daniel. No, you can just say, Dad, yes. Father, yes. your child will need you right now. Yes. And God will get in the hair. He said, you are, you are adopted into the family of Jesus Christ. And now you can whereby we can cry out of Father. Yes. Amen. And then the last verse. Amen. Do I have one more verse there? 16, he said, the Spirit itself bears witness. The Spirit inside of you bears witness. With our spirit. Uh -huh. That we are the children of God. Whenever you feel it, down and out. Listen to me now. Please listen to me. Amen. Like me today. Whenever you feel down and out, the not love, amen. The Bible said he bear witness with our spirit yes. that we are the children of God. Yes. You are somebody. Yes. You belong to somebody. You are a child of God. Amen. 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 Now, 17, do I have 17? Notice what 17 said. And if children, then heirs. Heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we are suffer with him. Uh oh. Uh oh, here it is. Uh-huh. If we suffer with him, that we may be off that we may also what? Glorify with him. So yeah, we're going through this pandemic situation. Many of us are many who have lost jobs and don't have the kind of wages that we desire. Amen. We we can't do the Things that we accustomed to doing, and that's some some people say that's suffering, amen. But no, that ain't that ain't the kind of suffering, amen. That ain't the kind of suffering that that he's talking in terms of taking taking away the things that you enjoy. That ain't suffering, my brother and sister. When you've been criticized and ostracized and you've been talked about as true as you're born, you've been called everything but a child of God, amen, when your family turned their backs on you, amen, when you ain't got two nickels to rub together and you believe, amen, that you don't have nothing to stand on, amen, he said if you suffer with him, you should also be glorified by him. And when you go through the suffering, he said you also should come out, amen, and write with pure gold, amen, God will be on your side. Yeah. Amen, he said glorify you, sir. Reign with him. Uh -huh. In this world, you're going to face all kind of tribulation. Amen. But here's what Jesus said. Be of good cheer. When tribulation comes, be of good cheer. He said, I have overcome. Amen. The word. Amen. So the, so the word, so the spirit of God gives us life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He brings life to every believer who accepted Jesus Christ as a personal savior. And the Spirit of God continually every day confirms to you that you are a child of God. He never allows you 
amen, to have a pity pat party, amen, and feel like you're all alone. He promised never to leave you, promised to always be with you. Yes. Now there are a negative side to revelation knowledge. And let me give you that, that negative side. The negative side is that breakthrough revelation knowledge can only come if you're feeding on the word of God. Oh, yes. Amen? You are having, a, if you're in a relationship with God, you reading, you feeding on His Word, Amen. Then breakthrough, Revelation honor will break through to you, mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, God will share with you. God always speaking to you, Amen. He always whispering to you. Don't go that way, right, right, Amen. Mm -hmm. Don't do that, Amen. Stand still, Amen. Don't move. Watch the salvation of the Lord take over. Amen. And, but we're so busy about doing everything, we can't hear his voice. Oh. Amen, somebody. That's good. That's but amen. if we're in constant relationship with him, amen, we hear his voice. Even when all the noise around us is making so much noise, we can hear his voice saying, be still. Mm -hmm. Don't you? Yeah. I got you. I got you. Amen. And when you know he got you, Amen. You don't have to worry about it. Amen. Amen. When the knowledge of God enter into your heart, amen, your spirit bears witness of that good news that, that have landed into your heart. So much so, amen, when you share the good news with others, you share that good news with confidence. Amen. Amen. When you know that you know that you are saved, when you know you know that you are a child of God, you always share the good news with That's somebody. Right. Yeah. When you see somebody heads down on your job, amen, and looks all sad, you can share with them the good news of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Now that might not be what they want to yes. hear, but that's what they need to hear. Yes. Amen. That Jesus Christ, amen, loves you. Amen. And God wants you to be a child of the kingdom. Amen. Mm -hmm. Then lastly, watch this. There are many who say that they are children of God. Mm -hmm. Many say that I'm a Christian. Amen. You say it all the time, but they do not strive to follow the path oh, of Christianity. Yes. Amen. And I know I know some who, who, who say that. Amen. And, and when you look around, you don't see them acting like a, a, a Christian. Amen. It's not my job to judge them, but you can judge the tree, amen, by the, by the fruit that it bears. Amen. Yeah. Second Corinthians chapter 5, 17 says this. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he or she is a new creation. Yeah. Old things have passed away. Uh -huh. He said, behold, look, all things have become new. That's good. Here's what you got to understand. We've been given new life. Mm -hmm. Amen. And our new life is not being reformed. Our new life is not being rehabilitated. Our new life is not being re-educated. Our new life is being recreated. Our spirit has been recreated. God has took that old spirit out mm -hmm. and given us a new spirit. Mm. That heart of stone, God has put a, a heart of love inside of us. Amen? That's why tears fold up in your eyes when you see the misjustice mm -hmm. and justice happening to somebody in the streets. That's why you care so much what happened to your brother down the street or your neighbor next door because your heart, amen, has been changed mm -hmm. from the cold and callous way. Now the heart of Christ resides inside of you. Listen, when you accept Christ Jesus as your Savior, according to Romans 10, 9, 10, 9 through 13, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit takes residence in your heart. Amen? And when he comes in, he brings in a entirely new life, mm -hmm. a life of love, a life of want to have a relationship with God. Yeah, yeah. Also a life of service because you know this, now that I'm saved and on my way to heaven, I desire that somebody else be saved. Amen. So you share the good news with those who are not saved. My brothers and sisters, the Lord wants us to have his revealed word to help us to live and to be prosperous. He wants us to share the knowledge 
with others. Just as his words have declared in, in the third epistle of John, where the Spirit of God says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prosper. Amen. So it ain't about material things. Amen. He wants your soul to prosper mm -hmm. as well. Amen. God wants you, amen, to be the head and not the tail. Go ahead, amen. Go ahead. Amen. God wants you to be the, the light in dark situations. God wants you to share the good news of Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. So continue to seek God. Powerful revelation knowledge. Stay sober. Be vigilant. Watch as well as pray. Amen. Be kind to your neighbor. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Uh -huh. Amen. Do the right thing. Be the best Christian that you know you can be. Lean on God. Trust in him every step of the way. Amen. And knowledge him. Amen. When you do things. Give him the glory for waking up in the morning. Yeah. Give him the glory for being able to lay down at night. Give him the glory for every material thing that you possess. Because if it had not been for God ahead, on, on your Go side, ahead, you would not have what you have. Come on. Come on. And you would not have the life that you live if it had not been for God on your side. Mm -hmm. yeah. I believe I'm speaking to somebody today. Yes, this lesson was directly for you today. Yes, you if you're are. living and hearing me today, and you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, do it right yes. now. They already, the scientific communion are telling us things are not going to get better. It's going to get worse. Why not come into the kingdom of God and let him shelter you, let him protect you, let him put his covering on you, allow his blood to cover you. So if this world down here cannot afford you a home, you know that you got a home on high. Yes, Amen. Just confess him, Lord, I'm a son. I need you to come into my heart. Yeah. Save me from my sinful self. I've been doing wrong, Lord. I, I repent of my sin. I don't yeah. want to do it no more. Please come in and live in my heart. Direct me and guide me yeah. until you take me home. And I believe the Lord will come into your heart. If you, if you said that prayer and you believe God has saved your soul and he's making you whole even now, I pray that you text us and write us right here at Washington Hills Baptist Church, 5611 Upshot Drive, amen, 37416. Now let us know that I have accepted Christ Jesus, amen, amen, and then get in your word, amen. Connect yourself with a Bible teaching church and allow the word of God to grow you, amen. Allow the word of God to protect you and shape the image of you, that your image of you will be like Christ. And you will have the mind of Christ. And you will start looking at things much differently. Amen? Amen. Thank you again. Tune us in. Now, come this Sunday morning. Amen. At 9 o'clock, we will be having our Sunday school lesson. Amen. Dickie Cavendish Smith, who is our superintendent, will be teaching a powerful word come Sunday morning at 9 o'clock yes. on our YouTube channel. Amen? Amen. 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 And then follow us at 10 o'clock if we bring another dynamic word of encouragement to those of us who seeks God's word for knowledge and revelation. Until next, next time, may God bless and may God keep you. Amen.